While giving little 18-month-old Olivia a snuggle last night because she was struggling to sleep, we could hear some lions calling out in the bush. So that, of course, redirected our intentions for this morning. And we've set off very early to try and see what lions were calling. And it wasn't long before the two Nzenga males were found. And they appeared as though they were on the scent of the Kambula pride, trying to find them in the hopes of probably trying to secure a meal because both of their bellies are looking fairly thin or hungry so they're probably hoping that the Kambula Pride have caught something however I don't think that is the case because if they had I'm sure these Nzanga males would have heard the initial takedown or the feeding frenzy at the beginning of uh, lions feeding on a carcass and so now they're just sticking their noses to the ground, following the scent of these Kambula lionesses and cubs. And you can see their tracks walking straight down the road. So they're pretty desperate to try and find them. They're not on a territorial patrol right now because they're not stopping and scent marking. They are just marching with their noses to the ground trying to find where these lions have gone. And I'm pretty sure at some point today they're going to find them or at least catch up to them. The Ansevo Pride, who are a breakaway from the Kambula Pride, have got seven cubs. And over the last week or so, they've been starting to bring all of those cubs onto the property fairly frequently. And so we'll throw in a little bit of footage of sightings that we have had with them. Initially, we just saw the three together and they were busy resting out in the open. Have finally brought their three cubs across onto Londolozi. Just mingling around here. We're just south of the Sand River. But with it cooling down now after sunset, there is a chance that they might get up and start moving around. We've just got these cubs having a whale of a time wrestling and playing, making the most of their uh, energy after nursing and suckling from their mother. But I'm actually going to put this camera down now. I want to really just enjoy watching these cubs playing and wrestling. With, so. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, drop a comment below and let us know what else you're wanting to see in the near future and we'll try and keep you updated on the journey of these young lions. So I absolutely love spending time with young lions like this because everything catches their attention and they just can't help themselves but stalk. Initially there was a crested franklin walking towards them so the cubs dropped their heads, flattened their ears, trying to then hopefully stalk. After them milling about and playing for a while, a flock of guinea fowl then came trotting through the grass behind us so two of the cubs then couldn't resist the urge to start stalking them and we had a pretty awesome view of a fr the guinea fowl then trotting on by they had seen the cubs and were well aware of them but the cubs didn't back down and began stalking them into the distance Now they're all just playing around here. They've just had their little rough and tumble on top of the aunt and they are all then just 
piling on top of each other in the distance so now's when I'm gonna start to wrap it up because it's getting dark we don't want to be here after dark you're gonna give them some space and then of recent times they were found with a wildebeest carcass pretty close to the Londolozi camps and we're busy feeding away on that so it's exciting that they're starting to uh, venture into our realms a little bit more um, and I'm sure we're going to have some amazing viewing of them going forward. The Kambula Pride have still got their 13 cubs and they're moving around uh, as lions normally do, hunting when they need to and uh, sleeping and resting when they don't need to hunt. So it's always great to see that there are lions on the property. And this morning following two male lions moving around, sun rising in the background, their noses stuck to the ground following the scent of a pride of females. And just to see them moving on a pretty serious mission is always great. And a fantastic way to start off a day, any day, no matter who it is or where you are. So I'm glad we were able to share this amazing piece of wilderness with you, no matter where you are in the world. So if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, that'll allow me to keep you in the loop with exactly what's going on here. Click the bell icon, that'll give you a notification every time we post anything new. Like it as well, and uh, we look forward to bringing you some more amazing content in the near future. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you all again soon.